Hi everyone. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're finding reasons to laugh. I hope you're finding creative ways to think about our current situation. So I like to put a positive spin on everything. So let's start by, let me just share in case you haven't figured this out yet yourself. I thought about it and then I heard about it and it made me feel really good. Think about the environment and how great it is for the environment that the planes aren't flying and the people aren't going so many places. And I understand that China's emissions were 25% less than previously in the month when things were not so good. So I know everybody's hunkering down. I know everybody's probably in semi high stress mode. Um, whatever is going on for you, I'm here and I'm here to do some purposeful, playful laughter. We're going to just have a good time. We're going to stretch those cheek muscles. We're going to stretch that funny bone. Oh, it's there. <laughs> okay. So let's start today with a laughter breath. We're going to breathe in through our nose and out with the word ha 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 until it becomes laughter. All right. So ready? Here we go. Join me. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> you can take a breath if you need to, but we're going to try to keep doing that for as long as we can. The ideal situation for 15 minutes and each little exercise we want to try to get to at least 20 seconds if we can. So I am going to take a look at my clock here. I'm going to have it set for a timer so that when when I need to I can just take a quick glance. But let's try again and do three or four of these laughter breaths and remember that your body's natural way to increase oxygen flow is with laughter because if you notice a regular breath and then you pay attention to what happens when we do these laughter breaths. You'll see that you exhale more when you laugh. And when you do that, that means you make way for more good oxygen. All right, we'll do three laughter breaths in a row. Ready? Breathe in through the nose. Out with ha 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 ha. Let's do it again. This time I'm timing it for 20 seconds. Breathe in and out with ha 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 that was good. Okay, here we go. Let's do it one more time. 20 seconds. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> So now what I want you to do is I want you to recognize clapping. So you have 39 pressure points on your hands. And when you spread your fingers wide, you can access those pressure points. So what we're going to do is just clap. Now, you can listen to me while you clap. It doesn't have to be a big sound. You just want to make sure that you're putting pressure and getting those pressure points stimulated. Because what happens is as you stimulate these pressure points, they send energy up your arms and actually attach to your lymph nodes. So you're stimulating your lymph nodes, which means you're boosting your immune system. Now it's going to take a little while for this energy to get all the way from, from your tips of your fingers and your hands all the way up your arm to reach those lymph nodes. But that's why they say that you should la you should clap for 20 minutes. Don't worry, that's 1500 times a day, but you don't have to count because we did the math. So just clap for 20 minutes. Next time you're looking at a commercial that you don't like, go ahead and clap. And what if you're on a conference call? Even as you're working from home, there are gonna be those moments when the conference call is not to your liking. So put yourself on mute and just clap through it and say, yeah, they're paying me to stay healthy. Okay, so I know these are tough times and everyone, including me, is trying to figure out what to do, what is new normal, how much growth use should I get? Um, how, what my, what should my day look like? And I'm continuing to clap while I talk because I'm demonstrating for you how you are stimulating these energy points and letting go your lymph nodes. Whoever just sent me a heart, 
Angela, hi, thanks so much for looking at this and watching it and sharing it and giving me a little love. So we're clapping because we are stimulating the energy points and ultimately the lymph nodes. Now I can already feel some burn in my wrist area in here, but the more that I keep clapping, the better it's gonna be. So keep clapping if you can. And I'll just talk for a few more minutes and then we'll get back to some more laughing. Okay, so we want to clap because we're boosting our immune system. And as we're laughing and trying to de-stress, I want you to take a few minutes and just breathe. And you can breathe while you clap too. So breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. And you can close your eyes if you want. Nobody's watching. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, I think that I'm feeling it all the way in my shoulders, even though it's probably only been about three or four minutes of clapping, but I'm going to stop now and I can feel the tingling right there in my hands and it's going up into my wrists and up my arms. I know for sure that if I kept doing this for 20 minutes, oh my God, it's still tingling. I know that I'm sending energy throughout my body. And listen, as we are feeling stress and anxious about the uncertainty and all the unknowns and our concern for other people that may be exhibiting some symptoms or that you are worried could get sick, it's really important that you learn to take care of yourself. Now, one of the things I want to be sure to do is drink plenty of water. And so I'm going to take a drink. And I suggest you have a drink too. I always drink lots of water. I confess lately I haven't been drinking as much and I have to do that. They say if you can drink every 15 minutes, that's really good. And of course, you want to try to get eight glasses of water in a day. That could be a lot of water. But you can always put some fresh fruit or um, some cucumbers if you like don't like the taste of water and you want to sweeten it with something fresh fruit squeezed in there or some mint with some cucumber makes some really great water okay i promised you lots of laughter so let's do it all right this exercise is called smile ups and you if you've ever laughed with me before you know i usually start with this one we're gonna mess this one up and be extra silly so a smile up is push-ups for your mouth we're gonna make a big smile <laughs> and then we're gonna relax and a big smile <laughs> and then relax and we're going to keep stretching that smile so we're going to make number three big ear to ear smile <laughs> and relax and laughter as you can tell is always okay let's go past our ears this time this is number four <laughs> let's go up and down this time <laughs> and relax and switch hands and go the other way <laughs> That was six now. Let's do a regular one. Seven. You're sending endorphins right to your brain. Relax. Those endorphins are saying to your brain, we don't need any stress. We're here to just have a good time. And nine. Big smile. I hope we were on nine. I lose track sometimes when I'm talking. Relax. And ten. Let's make it a big stretchy smile. Big smile. And let go of your hands and just let it go. Ho, ho. Ha ha ha, ho ho, ha ha ha, ho ho, ha ha ha. Once more, ho ho, ha ha ha. Here we get in some clapping in between exercises. We're gonna do something called ticklish feather laugh. If you're like me, I'm not really a morning person. And often when I wake up in the morning, I'm really not ready to get out of bed. In fact, I said to someone this morning, I think my favorite hour of the day is that hour when I've already woken up, but I allow myself to stay in bed a whole extra time. So what we're going to do is imagine that we're having one of those days where we just don't want to get out of bed. So imagine yourself lying flat in your bed and you're not wanting to get up and suddenly you feel something tickling you and it's actually a feather and you finally locate that it's coming out of your belly button or it's in your belly button so you pull the feather but it just keeps coming and coming and coming so we're gonna have feathers coming out of the belly button they're gonna be tickling us we can't stop laughing we're laughing we're laughing it just keeps coming there's feathers everywhere and then suddenly we feel something in our ear and oh my god it's another feather and it's in this ear too and they're gonna keep coming and coming and you'll see my emotions but I want you to really imagine it because that feather is tickling your belly it's tickling your ears it's even gonna tickle your nose but don't worry no boogers are allowed but the feathers are gonna just 
keep coming and we're just going to have feathers everywhere. We can play with the feathers, but we are being tickled until finally when we clap, that means our body has woken up because those feathers were not going to let up until we got going. All right. So ready? Start by imagining yourself quiet, sleeping, ready to get up, not wanting to get up. Here we go. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! One more time! Very good, very good, yay! Ooh, I feel a little bit more energized after that. That was really lovely. Okay, so now it's gonna be time if you're like me, you're feeling a little all over the place. I've had a hard time, I confess, in the last few days, getting focused and paying attention to my work. And even though I'm not going out and doing laughter for a company or for uh, a, a co-working space or for a senior center, some of the places I normally go, I still have plenty of work to do. And I've been a little out of sorts and not being able to focus. So I think it's time we do brainwash laughter and mental floss. Hello, Rachel, how nice to have you. I wish I could hear your laugh. So I hope you're out there and I'm gonna hear it just in my imagination. So we're about to do brainwashing laughter. So we're gonna do is gently, gently unzip the skull, separate it out, take out the brain, put it gently in front of us, and then we're gonna wash it with the giggles getting in all the crevices because let's face it, we've all been a little muddled lately with all the changes happening day by day and we just need to clear those cobwebs, clear out the confusion so that we can be at our best. All right, so we're gonna do different laughter sounds with this. Let's go, here we go. <laughs> Gently, gently, you only have one brain. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now let's clean it with the giggles. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh, shake out the sillies. <laughs> We don't want any giggles to be trapped in there. We'll be laughing all the time. All right, gently arrange it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Get it all straight. And carefully zip it up. <laughs> Ooh, that's better. Ooh. <laughs> I still feel a little. Let's get a piece of mental floss. It's just like dental floss, only thicker. And now let's go ahead and clean those crevices. <laughs> mental floss. <laughs> Ooh, that's better. Very good. Very good. Yay. Very good. Very good. Yay. Very good, very good, yay! One more time. Very good, very good, yay! Oh my gosh. So now that your head is clear and you feel a little more focused and ready for anything, let's do some congratulatory laugh. Congratulate yourself for making it to this moment, to this day, to having landed on this call so that you could be here. Michael, nice to see you. And Michelle, how nice to see you too. Okay, so we are gonna get some real exercise. We're gonna do some rowing laughter. I want you to pretend that you are on a rowing team. And I want you to just go back and forth and different laughs as we do it. And we're gonna start slow because we're in practice, but then we're gonna have to rev it up a little because we want to really use some energy. All right, ready? You're on the rowing team. I'm the captain and ready, let's go. <laughs> Pick up the pace. <laughs> very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! One more time. Very good, very good, yay! 
Yay! Okay, I told you my brain is a little confused. I had just said we were going to do congratulatory laughter, and then I switched to rowing laughter. So let's go back and revisit the congratulatory laughter. Now, here's what you do for this. You strike a pose. It could be the victory pose. It could be the strong man pose or the strong woman pose or the double strong. And we're just going to congratulate ourselves. So you can shake your own hand if you want. Um, tap yourself on the shoulder, but we're giving ourselves congratulatory laughter for making it to where we are in this moment. Ready? Let's go. Congratulations. Fantastic. Okay, let's take a big deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you do this, I want you to bring your hands up if you can. Stretch up really high. And feel that stretch and then go down. It's okay to make noise when you breathe. Breathing in through your nose as you stretch up and then down through your mouth, letting it out. And it's okay to make noise. Fantastic. Now, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling unhappy or I'm feeling a little stressed, one of the things that I find that helps me really a lot is to find some gratitude. And I know that there are so many things that are pulling at us right now. We have to arrange for things like food and jobs and we're worried about things. But if we can take pause and think about the things and the people in our life that we are grateful for and look for that silver lining, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call, the the environment is improving as we speak with less planes in the air and less cars in the air. We are all learning that we can live with less, that we can arrange our food without going out, that we can manage. And so this whole call is about learning to de-stress. And so let's find some gratitude. So think about the people in your life that are, are, are helping you that you are feeling grateful for. And I want you to bring your intention of gratitude to your heart. And as we let it out, we're going to send that gratitude so they can feel it. We're going to do it with laughter. And we'll repeat this motion and re repeat this laughter several times. Okay, so ready? Here we go. <laughs> last one is for all of you. I am so grateful for you tuning in, for you giving me your comments, for you joining me on this journey of laughter. And so this one is for you. So let's just let this one go. A great big gratitude laugh for everybody in your life that you are feeling grateful for in this moment. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> you again so so very much for joining me today please let me know how this call was for you um, you might have seen in the post earlier that I'm looking for uh, feedback about what time of day this is good for you if you want a certain time or if you like just catching it as you can and then seeing it later if you missed one time um, looking for feedback let me know what's going on if you have a particular stress that you want an exercise for if there's some feedback or some suggestions that you have i am open to that thank you again so much for joining me let's take one big deep breath all together and breathe out air and little giggles <laughs> 
Thank you so much. I'm sending lots and lots of love and laughter to all of you. I will be back every day at some time. And if I decide on a certain time each day, I will definitely let you know. Thanks so much. You can also go over to my Laughter Doodles Facebook page. I am posting at least one page every day that you can color. Dr. Carl Young, who is the founder of Analytic Psychology, used to prescribe coloring to his patients that were dealing with anxiety. So if you're finding yourself, finding yourself stressed and anxious, download a page of coloring and go to it. And if you do that, please share your finished pieces with me. I will post them and I would love to see them. Thanks so much. Stay well, stay safe, and know that I am laughing with you all the time. Bye. <laughs>